This video contains minor spoilers to get you interested. With the new year set in motion, System Era released a major update called An Awakening, with beautiful visuals and stellar sound design. While the majority of the patch notes are shrouded in mystery, here is what you need to know about the Awakening update, with minor spoilers, obviously. The Awakening update expands the lore of Astroneer further with new locations, new missions, new items, new plants, and a new friend. And along with these additions are the quality of life improvements and the bringing back of past removed content. The update is also in celebration of Astroneer's upcoming 4th anniversary, so log in and claim a new thank you emote for free. The quality of life improvements breathe joy to the game, as shuttle motions are smoother, volumes are indicated, and best of all, is the new interface for crafting and printing, where output items are grouped based on their functions similar to the catalog. One of the biggest and highly teased feature is the Sunroom. This place is an entity of its own and it serves as the primary central location for the new missions. The Sunroom adds to the narrative-driven game design. The missions, which I will only hint, carries rewards that are worth your time. My favourite aspect of it though is that you never guess where it is. Essential to the new missions is the introduction of the Fault Finder, which you can craft with one Astronium plus one Scrap. The Fault Finder's purpose is to locate faults within the world, turning them into a new tradable currency. This new currency can then be used to trade for composite materials, such as plastic or even the nanocarbon alloy. Past remove contents such as the coloured fireworks alongside the fan-requested beach ball are also tradable, alongside with QTRTGs and a new planet. To create this currency, you need to activate the Fault Finder and follow its queue. Once a site is located, the Fault Finder will turn into a beacon, highlighting the locations of lingering faults within the world. Each finder has their own methods of procuring faults. Some simply require a retrieval, while others might require some digging. Some might even demand the charting of special alignments to be put into practice. Regardless of how it's done, once five are collected, the fault finder is filled and it becomes your tradable currency. Onto botanical territory, the update introduces two new plants, which are the Fractal Rose and its hybrid version. The Fractal Rose is naturally found on Novice, and it will only drop one seed no matter how it's planted. The Rose is very unique, as its colour is determined by where it is planted. A Rose in Novice will always appear purplish, while a Rose in Atrox will always appear greenish. The hybrid variant of the Rose can only come from trading, where it can only be planted once before reverting to its normal form. Like its normal variant, the hybrid Rose can also change its colour based on where it is. The purpose of these roses are obviously aesthetic, but they also serve a bigger role as food for a new friend. The ultimate goal and joy of this update is this mysterious creature, Ava. Ava to me is a star fox. It is heavily tied to the missions, and once you finish them, you get it as a companion. Ava's granted ability is flight. So to take to the skies, Ava needs to be fed, and it only likes fractal roses. The normal Fractal Rose grants 10 minutes of uptime, whereas the hybrid Fractal Rose makes it to half an hour. If you are taking Ava for a flight, please remember to take Princess as well. And that's most of the new stuff to look forward to. This update comes with many lore implications that I didn't explore upon, so feel free to explore them at your own pace. This feels like an icing to a cake. It's a great start to 2023, and I look forward to the game's future. Thank you for watching, my name is Sandbox Nate, and I'll see you guys in the next one.